Hey guys, real quick before I get started on the video, uh, this is a Freightliner Cascadia driver side window. I did pull out the old one um, uh, because the customer did lock his keys in the vehicle and they didn't want to pay for a locksmith. And luckily enough, that glass was already cracked, so it was kind of like a kill two birds with one stone situation. Uh, other than that, I was able to pull it off. I'll show you toward the end of the video. I explained to you how I did pull out the glass by just using a suction cup on the bottom uh, right side corner. Yanked it again. This whole video is just about footing, guys. Please make sure your footing is very important and you're balanced. I don't want any of you guys to fall off. Uh, this whole job is more about just um, really just technique and as well, and it's a lot more. It's a more physical job. Um, it does require a little bit more. Uh, just grip so you'll you will sweat from this job there is no really easy way to do this job it's just it, it, you'll get faster at doing it as you do more of them but it, it, you are going to feel it if it's your first time so don't get frustrated it does happen um other than that please make sure you use the right head on the uh the whatever the little locking strip i was using the wrong head for about 30 minutes before i finally found the other head uh, I actually cut away from that video and you'll see me explain that I was really frustrated at myself So again, I apologize for cutting all that out But I literally was there for about 30 minutes extra for, because I was using the wrong head I had actually misplaced the uh, other head I was given from the tool uh, After I found it, I was able to just knock that job out within You'll see how long the video again. This whole video took me about 38 minutes I was there for about an hour just because I was trying to look for that head and I kept trying it with the other one on the tool and it wasn't working again guys enjoy the video appreciate that all right thank you <sighs> what's going on guys it's jose with jay's mobile auto glass and today i finally get to do the uh, freightliner cascadia here we have the half glass driver side i got a customer behind me so it's always a little awkward recording these when the customer's behind me uh, especially when it's a lot that's freightliners over there uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get started uh, i'm gonna go ahead and just walk over and set this glass somewhere where I can uh, grab it. I'm gonna put the suction cup in the middle. I know I'm getting kind of started. This is actually a very easy job. But first thing first, we're gonna find a good place for this glass. Now, as you guys can see, I already pushed that one out. You're most, uh, most of the time you're gonna push it out from the inside after you pull out the lace tool, after you pull out the lace part. So that's in one big thing there. Uh, I do recommend, if possible, have someone hand you this glass but this is a, a one person job, to be honest with you. So you should not have much trouble. Just be gentle where you place the, the uh, glass. Kind of just rest it somewhere where you will be fine with it. So we're gonna rest it here just for the time being. And we're gonna hop back up. Don't close this door because you'll hit the edge of the glass. So again, we are here. I'm gonna hop up. I always use the studs of the tire right there, guys, to kind of start my footing. Good boots, always make a good job. Step there, step there. It says no step there, so don't. Now when you're on top of the tire, look for the frame frame right here frame go a little footing our footing is very important when it comes to this <sighs> sorry i'm out of breath already the footing is very important you can fall and break something one of my previous uh, employee on uh, no, my co-workers when i worked at safe flight she actually fell off this freight uh, for a freight liner with the glass while he was pulling it out and uh he ended up gashing his arm and had to leave safe flight these are the lock strips guys um so we have two here we have one that was here, and then we have one that went around here. So I'm guessing whoever did it before, kinda, he, he, they cut out a little bit more. Sorry, we actually have one in the middle, one in the middle. So what I do is I'd always look for like the opening guys and kinda use a little hook tool and just pull it out. You don't have to use a hook tool. What I do recommend is having a, um, crap, I forgot what the name of this tool is, a lace tool. This lace tool is awesome. This is an equalizer. I actually had to go grab one from my, uh, one of my friends. It's because it's going to go in like that, but you're actually going to go in. It's going to go in like this. Wait a minute, let me make sure. I always forget how this goes in. It, dep it really depends on where you get started on it. So I'll have to show you guys. It's a little awkward when you do it backwards. You kind of have to go. So in, in that situation, you'll see how I end up using it, but you do need the lace tool. It makes the job 10 times easier than trying doing it by hand. It's going to go like that. And then you're going to kind of like get into the gasket and then kind of just go in. Only take off. Do not peel this whole thing off because then you're going to have to spend all day, not all day, but you're going to spend a good amount of time going to the other side, going to this side. So only take about a little over half and then, then now you've got plenty of room. So you're going to want these two tools here. I do recommend a fiber tool and some glass cleaner so that the glass can get nice and easy in here. These should not leak. These gaskets should be uh, urethane to the body. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of urethane right there, I believe. I, th I think that's some urethane right there. I guess it's double lipped on there, but anyways, 
it's to keep it sealed up so they do not leak. So if you're getting leaking in between the glass and something here, maybe putting some bedding compound wouldn't hurt just to fill up that uh, area. But let's go ahead and show you guys how to actually do it. Uh, what I'm gonna also do is I'm gonna lower these here because I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach the glass in there unless I set the glass on the dash. But we're gonna try and do this as safely as can. Also the wiper, I know I have this off already, but I'm gonna show you guys how I take off this wiper. So it's just like doing a Ford. So what we're gonna start from the beginning. So if the wiper is already on, have it on the rest, pull the clip up with a finger or if you wanna use a tool, and then kind of pull it, then rest the deck down. It's gonna disengage and you just wiggle it off. Set that bad boy right there. And now you have the wipe off. Also, a lot of these uh, truck drivers have wires in the way. Make sure you just get everything out of the way. You don't want um, you don't want anything to kind of help make your job harder than what it already is. So, all right, now that we have all that, all we're missing is a fiber tool and we're missing a uh, in the glass cleaner. And then we'll get started on, on how we do this. This whole job is pretty much all just um, it's all it's all it's a very physical job this isn't a technique this is just kind of physical with a little bit of technique on how you do it and i'll show you guys how it is you'll hear me struggling and, and venting a little bit there like struggling and huffing and puffing so not venting because i don't really vent when i do it when you climb back down grip is always important and the studs the studs do a great job as you guys can see i do recommend putting a little stand here to help you so that's exactly what i'm gonna do we're gonna walk over to the van Here's the old glass. Here's the transponders that they have. Make sure you save them. That's why I didn't I didn't stuff the glass inside, just because I, I need those transponders. We're gonna go ahead and grab our stand and grab our tools. Okay, so we have our stand here. We have our glass glass cleaner and we have a few fiber tools we're going to use so now we're going to go ahead and get started set those there set those there i'm going to set them here because i'm going to try and get this glass to kind of kind of sit rest up here so that's what i'm going to do again if you have someone else that can help you even if the driver's around the area like, hey can you hand me this glass um don't be afraid guys don't hurt yourselves don't nothing is worth you risking your your safety guys someone's there that can help you do it. If not, then it's kind of just have to bite the bullet, unfortunately. Sorry, I have to close this door now. So now what we're gonna do, footing is very important. If I fall while I'm on the GoPro, I'm gonna laugh. After I cry in pain a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slide this glass right here. Slide it, it's plastic, so you'll be fine. Now gently rest it. Gently rest it, there. Now we're there, we're fine. Now we can hop on up, step on the studs. Can I get the stud to dig into your, uh, the boot of your, uh, your shoe? Cause that way, as you can tell, that's why I kind of like these little boots. Cause they have little, kind of like a tire. They have little grooves where you can like, uh, kind of get locked in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna step there, step on the tire, step back up. Grip, very important, grip something, grip here. Now look for the frame. Do not step on any of those, any of these wires. I mean, any of those tubes guys, cause you will, end up having to pay for it. So we're gonna lean back a little bit, step on that frame. I am very secure here. But one thing I did not do, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right, right here. One cup is all you need. You don't need two cups. You can't have two people up here helping you. This is not a rope in job. This is pretty much like doing an 848 Chevy C10. So I don't like using this soap. It's not foamy enough, but it still will do the job, get the job done. Spray away does a lot better job. So I'm gonna do a spray as far as I can reach. Like I said, I should have probably done this a little bit sooner. In the summertime when it's really hot, this will evaporate. So maybe using soap and water would be a little bit better. Just be careful not to get water in the fuse box areas. You'll shorten something out and you'll have to replace uh, a lot of stuff there. Again, uh, these trucks are not cheap to fix. So now what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna get the side of the glass to kind of start here and we're gonna push it that way. So what I'm gonna do is pick, lift it up about halfway, get that bottom lip in there and just kind of slide it. Just the bottom for now, okay? And now we're just gonna set it like on top, right there, okay? We are technically in, but we're not really in. <sighs> Something my, my mentor say, and if I pop this glass, I'm still gonna just upload this video. It's a good little learning video because nobody's perfect. So if you pop the glass, it's fine. But what we're gonna do is uh, kind of 
you're supposed to always finish the corners first start with the corners and then finish off with the curvy part the curvy parts a lot easier i will sometimes do the curvy part first and then finish off with the corner but that does put a strain that you might pop it here in the corner because that's a lot of pressure there so um another little hack is if you have someone on the inside they can push the lip outward and that helps you a lot so if you want someone to help you there so what i'm gonna do is just kind of like get this to kind of just uh I'm gonna massage this in where it's just like doing an 848. Now we're just gonna go down, I'm gonna push it in, get this in here. I'm gonna get some of this, I'm gonna get half of this windshield in at least. Just uh, as you can tell. And then you're gonna have to slide it that way, okay? So please make sure you're using a suction cup. All right, there we go. We're gonna go again. There we go. Now we're all in here in this corner, which is beautiful. That gives us enough room here. Open this door. If you have to hop off, hop off. Don't be lazy. I'm just going to pull it here. Now I'm going to stand on both of the tire. Footing is very important, guys. So if you don't feel safe, just make sure you keep your footing. I don't actually feel safe with my left foot. So I'm going to look for another spot. The bumpers aren't, aren't meant for you to step on. So don't step on the bumpers. You can use it as a little bit of a lean. Kind of like a lean, not a step, a lean. So we want to step back on the frame and just do it here because I want to just suck it up. So now what I'm going to do is kind of just go here, kind of twist it, kind of just put, while I'm twisting it, I am going to go push it down. Method here, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of like twist it. I'm going to get to like about halfway and I'm just going to go continue going that way. You don't want to ever do like a full 360 there because that will or 180 because you can pop the glass there we go push slide it down a little bit now this is where it goes by preference if you want to finish in this corner you can try but i have a lot of people tell me that you can pop up you can pop that corner but i've also had times where i popped this corner so it's just very iffy. This, this, this has been changed. This gasket has been changed out a few times, which makes our life a little bit easier, which is nice. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can find another piece of the subframe. Right now I have my foot, my foot floating, but I have both hands there. I wish this stuff wasn't in the way, but there's too much, uh, there's too much stuff on this side, on this driver's side, but it's all good. I'm going to put a hand in pressure. I'm going to see if I can get the rest of this uh, middle portion in. So don't worry if you pop the glass guys because i don't know if i pop it if you guys pop it it's a little different so just kind of learn from my my mistakes in case i promised you guys this video so let's see you don't stick the whole fiber tool in there either so now i kind of want to finish in the corner i'm getting so much more easier over here i kind of want to finish in the corner like i always do but i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna not do it that way today just because just for educational purposes. Okay. I'm just giving a tight little tap. Now I'm gonna see if I can keep going. And the reason why the corners are a little harder is because there's a little bit more pressure in there. So what I might do, I'll show you guys a little bit from the inside how I do this. I'm gonna go ahead and grip, find somewhere to grip. Use the stud to step on for a second. And then kind of just go there to my footstool and go from there. Something that might also help you is if you, uh, if you grab the suction cup and put one on the inside too, you can actually pull it, but I'd pull it from the corner. And then you're able to uh, kind of push this gasket out from the inside. But just be careful because you can uh, you can push the glass out too. But it does work pretty well. See, I'm actually doing pretty good. Push, but now I have to go back outside and reapply pressure on there. That's why having a cup out here would do phenomenal. So I should have put a cup, but just to show you guys a little, a little hack there. But you can push it from the inside. I just can't. I need to put pressure a little bit from the outside. So I got to go back up. Very easy job, guys. You can probably get in and out in like maybe half an hour. Again, this is all, but it's all about safety. Footing, very important. See, we pushed it back in. 
We're gonna go down. We're already down all the way. You guys can see that the lip, where the lip can now be seen a little higher. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cup off. I don't need this cup on the outside anymore. We're already all aligned. All I got left is heat from here to here. So not that much, about 30% of it, I'd say. Again, grip, find somewhere to grip. Both feet on the tire. Take note, the screw was loose for some reason. Step on that stud, dig that stud into your boot. There we go, there we go. This is why having someone help you can be awesome on this one. Now, uh, I might have to take off the glasses for this. Be careful where you put your body into the levers. Don't break anything. All right. See, it already wants to bite on me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can uh, I'm gonna pull it a little bit, gently. Don't over pull it, cause you can snap the glass. You, you got pressure on it. So again, the only weird part about this is kind of just the, I might actually have to finish in the corner, even though I don't want to. Yeah, I might have to finish in the corner, unfortunately guys. So. I was hoping for this video example, we could finish on the round part of it, but I'm not actually getting much luck there, so I'm gonna just um, keep going around the round part just because I don't feel too uh, confident on that. I mean, I can keep trying here, but these corners can be a B word. So <sighs> the good thing is this, this glass has been changed out a lot of times. So this rubber has a lot more flexibility than if it was a brand new stiff one. So I'm gonna keep my foot, my footing. I'm gonna open this door. I'll use this door to catch me if something were, were to happen. My, my precaution is always more important than anything else. So we're gonna keep going from here. This is killer on the wrists. Just a little slap because I didn't want to go in. And see, that's why I said another cup to go down, but I think we're fine. I'm gonna have to actually put both feet on this tire and kind of just uh, balance myself on this tire and then just go from here. So now, now you have to be very careful. And so this is all a manual job because you have to keep hopping up. Don't stick your fiber tool all the way in there. Now, same method as before. If you wanted to push out from the inside, you can. It's a little gentle tap. So now we only have here to there. Don't over, don't over slap it, okay? Now I'm kind of stuck here. So the pressure I'm putting on, if you guys can see, I'm not getting much movement here no more. I'm like barely moving. So I'm gonna go back from the inside. It's cause I tapped it. So I put pressure on that little lip and I'm gonna go from the inside and just kind of push the rest of it out. We're, hot, we're getting ready to hop off. Grab the door, grab the door. Grab, a, grab right there on the side. Step on, dig your boot into the stud. I'm being very specific because I don't want any of you guys to fall doing this job. I mean, I could probably knock it out a little bit faster if I wasn't recording it, but this is a good little video. I'll show you guys that I know how to do 18 wheelers. And the bad thing is I can't see here. I'm about to go by feel here. There we go. There we go. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys this part, but I'm just literally pushing that gasket out. I can feel it from the outside. I'm pushing it. Just little by little. Sweat on my lip. See if I can see it from the bottom. No, I can't even see it from the bottom. So now we're back up here. 
So you guys can see where I'm pushing the lip out. So I'm gonna have to go back outside. Also, some of this last one is coming out. I don't know why it was coming out there. I don't think this tool is the best one. I'm gonna hop up here, grab this tool. I'm gonna use, I'm actually, right now, I am behind the door hinge right here, so I should be safe. As you guys can see, I am behind the door. In between the door and the door, Oh, I thought the door was, I thought I was about to fall. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this one. See if I can yank the rest of it out. See, it started, but it got a little bit of a cut right there. That's fine. Actually, let me see if I can use this one. It is kind of tight there. Huh. Alrighty. That's my problem right now. I want to do it from the inside, but I'm gonna grab the steering wheel for one second, lean on the door, climb back down. I'm gonna go back to the outside and just do the old fashioned way. Just twisting, all twisting arm way, so. Again, take that booth in there, step. All right. Stick our tool. See if we have some more luck. We're having a lot, uh, a lot of tight issues here. Realistically, from the inside, I should have a little bit more luck. And the gasket's ripping here. I'm not sure why. Not sure why it's ripping. So I'm gonna go back to the inside. We're having just a little bit of tightness here. I'm not sure if we have to push the, gla the glass down a little bit on this side. Would probably help. No, I don't wanna break the glass, so climb back down. It's a lot of maneuvering, so, but it is theoretically a 30 minute job. I just can't see because this uh, plastic trim is really, really low. We're gonna be back here where we were a second ago. Again, it's just a lot of figuring out where the glass wants to go in. tool. I'm gonna hang, hang behind the door, use my old trick of setting my foot there on that hinge right here and see if I can just get this to go in again. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit more luck here. Your, your, your grip, your, tire, your hands will get tired here, so unfortunately. But this is honestly. As soon as you can't reach no more, hop off and go back to the middle. Okay, that's as far as I'm gonna reach arm length, so I'm gonna hop off, grip the steering wheel, hold the door. There we go, step, step. All right. Now the reason why I'm saying you might pop it is because it is, it does happen, so. Step, step, here, footing, boom. Now we're gonna do the same thing. I'm wearing a jacket and it's like 65 degrees. Give me one second, guys. Took off this jacket. I'm drenched, I'm getting drenched in sweat. It's fine. All right, now we finish it up here. Kind of the same way we were doing earlier. It's 
slow and steady. Take your time. I'm gonna remove the GoPro for one second while I clean the sweat from my face. So bear with me. Also, the GoPro is kind of uncomfortable. Put it up here so you guys can see there. I'm trying to see what I'm doing. Back forth. As you do more, you get better. I, I don't really do a whole lot of these, but I still know how to do them. I don't mind doing them actually. <sighs> Wait there for a second. I'm not gonna slap it in because it's gonna get really tight and I'm gonna have the same deal with the same thing again. So right now, we're just gonna kind of, uh, just kind of keep going with it. So I'm trying to make sure you guys get a good view of this. So a little bit, take a little breather. Don't be afraid. What hurts is uh, this little ball is digging right into my, my hand here. I'm gonna see if I can go from here now. No, I was having a lot more luck like digging it between the pig's foot. All right. <sighs> the reason you don't wanna use metal tools is you can pop the glass. <sighs> Just bear with me guys, I only got about what, five inches, four inches? Now I'm gonna have to actually slap a little bit back here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Again, that corner is typically where you don't wanna finish. But what sometimes it'll do is just fall into the corner, so that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, still looks like we're a little loose here, so we're good. Let's see what happens. Maybe I can just get it to go in. No, not yet. I'm gonna break it, so no. I still want some more. <sighs> so now, this is the issue I was gonna have. A lot of times it'll just flap itself back in there, but I don't think that's gonna be the, the way this time, so I need to pull out more. I'm gonna see if I can go from the inside and get that corner. Actually, no, let me just keep going here, because. I don't want to pop that corner, but I'm gonna to have to find a way to get that out. All right, footing on both tires. Go here. Oh, I slid off the tire. Now what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna have to put my face right there and look uh, to see if I can push that the rest of the lip out. And uh, we should be fine. Hopefully I don't pop it. I shouldn't pop it. I should have kept going a little bit more around that corner and dig it through, but I got a little impatient and started slapping it. So now I gotta deal with the consequences. That's why I said, don't slap it all the way up here. You want a little bit of play room. Once you start slapping it, it'll get really tense. So I'm gonna take off the GoPro so I can put my face right here and kind of look and I will be right back. So just to enjoy the view for a second there. You'll still hear me talk, but I just gotta, I need to put my face up in there so I can see what's going on. There it is. All right, so I was able to put my face there and push it out with my uh, fiber stick tool. I was able just to go in that corner with both of the lips and kind of just kind of push it up and it went in. So now we're gonna go back outside. Again, don't move this. I'll, I hope the parking brake's on. I don't wanna roll around with it, but it has a lo load on it, so I doubt it's gonna go anywhere. Okay. I probably shouldn't have closed the door. That's whatever. I didn't close it all the way. Again, this, he locked his keys in there, so we had to kind of work around that. Footing, footing, footing is very important. Footing here too. Okay. 
Now, as you can see, we have way more of a bite in in there. So now what I'm gonna do is just try and get the rest of this out. There we go, and now it's in. A few little slaps. Get her to settle in there. Just a little gentle slaps. Get her to lock in there. So, for some reason I have a little bit weirder feeling here, but hopefully with the lace tool it will fix itself. All right. All right. Again, this is a more of a physical job than it is a technique job. Still an easy job. We got done. I don't know what time it is, but we are done. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this opening, make it easier for the laces to go back in. Okay, guys, I am back with my the head of the tool. I'm not sure if this is the one I lost because um, my friend uh, let me borrow two different heads, but this is a spare head I have. This one, as you guys can see, is a lot more uh, smaller than the one I'm using. It's not as long, so I'll be able to get more in there. Uh, I, was so, I was having so much trouble with this tool, trying to get to actually lock in there, and um, I'm hoping this will solve my problem. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the head out. Uh, I've been here for way too long trying to get this fixed and I am not happy with that. So we're going to set that there. We're going to switch the heads. Switch this head like that. Put the nut in here. I think I actually it's the other way. My bad. My bad. Again, you have to use the right style head or it'll just be a, you'll be struggling and struggling and struggling. I, I, I so apologize for that. It would, the other head was working. It just, it was too, too tight for me, man. It just could not, for the love of me, I could not get it to go in there. I cannot lose this. I gotta give it back to my mentor. So hopefully he does see it. As y'all can see, this should fit in there and it does fit just in there. It can't be too long because then it's not gonna go in at all. So now we're gonna attempt number like 50. <laughs> attempt number 50. And I'm really upset that it took him this long on this. Such an easy job. Again, it's all about having the right tools. If I didn't have this tool, I would have to use a poker tool and uh, like with a little bit of a curve on, like a 90 degree poker, and that would do great. But luckily I do have this tool. So now, as you, as you can tell, this one's gonna be a little tighter. This is exactly what I want. I'm gonna let that drag for a second there. As I get my footing a little bit better. What I might do is actually put both feet on a tire. Now, uh, I'm gonna dig in here again. Look at that, way better guys. Holy crap, is that way better. Look at that, look at that. We are actually getting that tool in there and it's doing its thing. Slowly, don't over push. Again, you're literally floating. Oh, look, a straight cat. Sorry, ADHD. Okay. So there we go. You have to use your other hand to guide it too. Now, if you jump out, it's okay. Just wiggle her back in there. Look at that. That, two, that side of that head is making my life so much more easier than if I was using that big one. I'm gonna grip something because I am gonna go down here. We got most of it in there. Now the parts that you don't have in there, like see this little bolt, this little bite right there? Use this poker and just push her in. Push her in and do the same thing here. Don't leave any of that loose. Could cause a little bit of a problem in the future. Just kind of just massage it in there in case you see any of it else not in, but everything else looks good. I'm gonna grip this through. I'm just gonna kind of balance my hand there. Kind of take a look here. Go, there's a little bit here. Oh, I was pulling it out. Just kind of just slide it in there. That's all you want to do. You can also just push it if you want to just push it in there. Glass cleaner to lube it up. Fix our step. So I'm in here for about over a little over an hour, which I'm not too happy about. 
again you shouldn't be here for more than about half an hour just because of how these things are supposed to go but again take your time if you don't have that much if this is your last job and just take your time you don't want to break anything or fall but unfortunately in the glass industry we are always on a time crunch so that's the only bad thing about being an olive glass just poke it in there i'm just gonna finish the poke i don't have that much of it out but this is this lock strip is important to keep everything nice and sealed and tight Now, do I recommend cleaning the glass before? Not really, because as you can see, I'm making a mess. I have to go back and clean it. So now we're gonna measure because we have two lock strips that we still have to put in. We have this bad boy, and then we have uh, the middle one still. So the short one should be easy. And I'm pushing that way. I should not be too, not should, I, should, I should theoretically not have too much trouble with it, but again, you just, you just never know. I have a little bit of excess there. Now I can either try and slide it back, see if it goes, it does, it is going, so. So I can just push this little corner in. And now we're literally flush. There's a little gap there, but that's fine. A little gap on the bottom is not too bad. Now, same thing for the middle. Just gotta get that tape out of the way. There we go. I still got like two more jobs I gotta do today and I took a little longer than what I wanted to here. But I did promise you guys this video, so I am a man of my word here. Also, I'm trying to do at least two videos a day, or at least two videos before I do a pod, a pod glass. So definitely need to make sure it's worth. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And kind of just start sliding her down. Sliding her down, sliding her down, sliding her down, wiggle, there we go, look, this one went in beautifully, you can actually just push it in with your finger there too, boom, guys, we are done, I told you, having the right head for this tool is way better, we were using this head, as you guys can see, make sure, you guys can easily see what the difference is. This was too long and it had too much play in it, which was making me struggle so much more than what I had to. And again, uh, sometimes you just gotta find the one that's really tight. Now we're gonna set the wiper back in. Push it first, you're not locked in. Pull the head back, just like doing it forward. A little bit of tap it, nothing. Close it, nothing. We have to wiggle it. Nothing, okay. I have to just kind of. Watch the wiper be my downfall, where I fall. Let's see if that's just, nope. So I gotta get back. I'm the one that's in the way of the wiper opening up all the way. So I'm gonna get on a tire, balance myself on the tire with both feet. There we go, I heard a little latch. And there she is, she's closed now. So we should be good. There we go, I went down more all the way there. So, but you actually want it to be touching. So let me just make sure, nothing there yet. We are locked in there, we should be locked in. Now guys, I'm gonna just go ahead and switch the uh, transponder uh, things they have, switch them over to this vehicle, uh, clean the glass. You guys don't really need to see how to clean the glass, hopefully, again, for this tool, for this job, all we did was use a fiber tool, a poker to pull out the, uh, kind of dig in there and pull it all out. Uh, when you do take out the old one, push, use your feet, kick from the outside, press with leg like, press from the out and inside and press it around these rounded corners. Do not press around the, the uh, sharp corners because there's a little bit more pressure on that one. Um, how I did this one too, because he locked the keys in, I put the suction cup right here and just yanked it out. And again, my footing was very important throughout this whole video. So when I did yank out, I had my hand gripped here. I had it here and just kind of yanked it out and it did just come out. Um, again, if the, if the job's been done a few times, this rubber, 
has a lot more flexibility to it. If it's a brand new Cascadia or it's been it's, it's semi new, which means it's only had one or two windshields in it, it will be a lot more stiff. Uh, forgive the camera for moving. My headband is really loose. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Follow the Discord. Join the Facebook group. Facebook group doesn't have a single member, but I hope to hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I did struggle a lot more than what I needed to. But thank you guys for watching. And again, make sure you use the right head on that lace tool. You guys have a great day. Bye.